Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to play any Game Boy game, e.g. Pokemon, on your Android. I'm using screenshots instead of video in my phone because when I've tried video in my phone it has been really choppy. Okay, so first you want to go into your internet and go on www.forshared.com. Then you want to click sign up, it's completely free and will do no harm whatsoever to you. Once you've made an account and logged in, you want to go back to the Forshared homepage. Type into the search bar gameboid.apk or just look at the screen and it'll show you. Press enter or search and then the screen looking like this should appear. They're all pretty much the same but you want to get one that ends in 2.4.7. Once you click that just wait for the countdown and then download. Then you want to go back and type in emulatorroms.apk or just look at the screen and it'll show you again. Just click search and download the top one because it's the most updated and there's only three on there. Then you want to go back to the search again and type in gba underscore bios dot bin or the screen will show you again. They're all pretty much the same but you want to download one that looks like the one that's on the top of my screen now. Once again just click download when the timer stopped. Then before we install them you want to go to settings, applications and make sure the unknown sources box is ticked. This allows you to install applications that have come from places other than the market like the internet obviously. Now you can go ahead and install the Game Boy and Emulator ROMs app. I don't have any screenshots of this because uh, they're already installed on my phone. Now you want to go into Emulator ROMs, click GBA and either scroll through and find the game that you want or click search and then type in like Pokemon. Go ahead and download all the games you want. And sometimes if a screen like this pops up where you can't see much, it's just like a blank screen, you want to lock your phone and then unlock it again it should like fix the problem. Next go into the Game Boy app. It should ask you for the GBA by you, so you just want to click search and it should be on your phone under a download or downloads folder and it's just being there. Next it's going to ask you for a ROM. So you just want to search through your phone and there should be a folder called ROMs automatically made when you've downloaded one of emulator ROMs. And that's all you need. You can now play Pokemon or whatever Game Boy games you want on your phone. But you might want to play around with the settings a bit first depending on how you want to play or like what sort of phone you have because if you have a phone with a QWERTY keyboard or if you have a Sony Ericsson Play then it's going to have a keypad so you can just edit the settings to put that on there. That's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching.